Bob Skinstat and Robbie Fleck's Castle Cape Town Tents is the first on the rugby calendar for the legends, and many amateur players also fly in to the mother city to spend a weekend playing Tens rugby and to enjoy the competitive but social atmosphere at the foot of the mountain. As part of their fundraising efforts, the legends were joined by enthusiastic supporters in a strong early morning breeze at Milnerton Golf Course. Yeah, well, it's uh, fantastic to play golf in these legends days. Are are wonderful. The work that they that they do is tremendous, and it's great to be part of it. You know, to play a bit of golf with uh, a lot of the old guys that uh, I played with, Rob Lowe, and a few guys I coached as well, which was great. Yeah, this is our fifth annual golf day, and the reason why we do the golf day is to is twofold really. Is to say thank you to the legends uh, for supporting us during the year. So we give them a good day on the golf course. Uh, unfortunately, it was a bit windy today, but it's a beautiful golf course there in Milton. So firstly, to thank the legends, and secondly, also to get old and young legends together. You know, it's a, it's a fantastic bunch of guys. When they get together, the stories that they tell, is un it's unforgettable. It's a nice day out here, and, and looking forward to, to uh, on the great tens. Tens, uh, what was the tournament uh, tomorrow and, and, and Saturday? Yes, I think um, it's, uh, it's good. It's nice to be here today, I think. Um, it, 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 it's very exciting. The wind was a bit pumping today, um, but it was a really nice golf day to see all the, the legends here. Still, guys looking in good shape. I think um, coming to the teams, I think it's, a, it's it's an awesome tournament. I think playing wise, the guys are, are well prepared. I think um, it's always fun for everyone. I think the families you need to come out and watch them and see the best of the best and compete in each other. And after prize giving, it was on to day one of the Thames with Master of Ceremonies, the one and only Dan Nickel. Welcome to the Cape Town Thames, where our Legends team has again been starring on and off the field. Five years into the Cape Town Thames now, and we've had a collection of superstars over the year. Tana Umang has played in this event, Jeremy Paul's been out, and this year we've also got some great characters have joined us. Colin Chavez making his debut, and he's been a real highlight here at the Thames, making his first appearance. Uh, we've got little David Reese, famous for chipping Jonah Lomu in 1996, running under his legs and scoring in the corner at Twickenham. Uh, and they're just a couple of the stars. are joining us South Africans. Uh, Stefan de Blanche is here. Uh, we've also got Bob Skinstad playing. Robbie Fleck not playing. We did have him on stage last night. Probably the single worst dancing performance anybody's ever seen. But it was very entertaining for all of us. Big Hottie Low playing as well. Peter Muller on the sidelines. And I think what's been great is the way this year the internationals and the South Africans have come together. They've played as a single team. A lot of fun off the field. Very determined on it though, there's competitive fires still burn. They're really hoping to win in the final and uh, have even more to celebrate. Uh, but together, a wonderful advert for the game of rugby, just as the Cape Town 10 celebrating the beautiful game as splendidly as they do each and every year. The same faces keep coming back and that just shows how much fun they're having. And you know, it's about spreading the word about uh, rugby, not even 10, whatever form of rugby, it's a, it's a special game. All shapes and sizes and some really big sizes this time around. So, you know, having fun and it's just getting that old feeling again in the change room, whether out on the field and guys will certainly have war stories to take back home with them. I'm seeing some 50, 60 year old guys still playing the game. This shows you how much it means to everybody, you know. I mean, it's a, it's a great weekend for Cape Town. I think people getting together, guys getting together, players getting together. And I must say, I'm very impressed with the Legends team this year. I mean, uh, you know, I just saw Josh Lucy uh, earlier on, uh, Colin Chavez. Those kind of caliber guys, it shows you how much interest it is this year and this shows you the, the importance of this competition. But once again, you know, rugby is about fun and rugby is about telling stories, uh, the memories we all had along the years. You know, at some stage we were all very competitive, but, but now, you know, we're just getting out, see who's still the fastest, who got the fattest, who got the thinnest. Uh, some of the guys still look in shape, but, uh, you know, at the end of the day, once again, it's just about a fun weekend altogether. We started what we call the Beer League, which is obviously a social rugby league, and now it's become beer heavy, beer light, and mainly here for the beer. So it's a lot of guys who I think, like myself, are always hark back and, and really enjoy the, the, the game, but want to play with their mates and want to come down and have a long weekend in Cape Town. So we've got guys coming in literally from all over the world. I mean, teams from the UK, teams from Dubai, teams from most cities in South Africa, and every one of them has put in a real effort to be to be uh, part of the, the chaos and the vibe, and it's amazing, we're loving it. They're so excited, we haven't had rugby for two and a half months, you know, so they're champing at the bit, they want to watch a bit of uh, sport, they want to get involved, and, and I think the one thing that, that um, has sort of overrode the whole thing is that everybody is passionate about this sport in this country, so, 
you know, whether, whether you trickling down the wing like I am, trying to avoid as much contact, or you're just having fun and having a beer in the beer tent, or you're just coming along to see mates, everybody gets it. It's the spirits of rugby which we try and keep alive, and, and to be honest, it's alive and kicking. This year we've got an SA Invitational side where it's a combination of the, the SA Legends and the International Legends, two uh, teams that have been uh, over the last five years really having to go at each other both on and off the field. And, and uh, But it's all about you know, making you know, you know, good friends and uh, playing good rugby and sharing a beer afterwards. We had a, a beer at, um, at Get Together two nights ago where uh, the SA Legends guys were introduced to the International Legends and it was a great evening. You know, and that's what it's about. It's about hooking up with Colin Chavis and Josh Lucy and uh, Stefan Tablanche and Baden Pulsa, you know, all these legends of the game getting together. Both the South African and international rugby legends attended a JAG Foundation development initiative at the Hamilton's Rugby Club grounds on the second day of the tournament. Oh, this is absolutely fantastic for our kids to come down from the JAG Foundation to be exposed to guys they normally saw on TV. You know, this is absolutely a thrill. It's just actually the outing, let alone running around on the field and rubbing shoulders with these guys. Um, you know, to them, this is, this is actually the heaven. Jack and the legends come a long way. We're working hand in hand in Mitchell's Plain, where we, the legends, are focusing on high school. We've got our VUCA tournament in, 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 in the township, and where Jack Foundation is concentrating on primary schools. And today, we're just having a nice uh, coaching clinic uh, with the Jack Foundation and all the legends here today. Yeah, I mean, touch, touch rugby is very big back home. We have a European Championship. But when you come and coach kids and you teach them to play tag rugby, it's more about involvement, running around, spatial awareness, using the ball. Uh, so it improves their skills a lot quicker than if they're actually just knocking each other over. And for these three former professional rugby playing brothers, it was a dream come true to be able to play in the same team for the first time. Yeah, definitely. I think it was a dream of us to, to play together in one team and we had never had the opportunity to do so. And uh, could I bring a team down from Namibia and he, he asked myself and Jimmy to, to come and join them. So first time ever that we, we play in a team and it's a huge privilege for us and a dream come true. The Saturday leg of the tournament saw the knockout phases coming into effect with the legends watching local favourites Hamilton's closely as they were staying in contention. Yeah, I mean, knockout, knockout phase is all or nothing, you know. The boys uh, really did play well yesterday. I think uh, uh, the first game was a bit of a messy affair, but then it got better. But uh, today, you know, uh, if, if you lose, you're out. So uh, we're going to have to focus a bit. Flyer Sports Apparel, with their unique technology, saw some unusual kit designs requested for the tournament. And the, the tens this year, too, is a very youthful competition. There's lots of young guys from all over the country coming. And they're all passionate about their jerseys. They've submitted their own designs which we touched up about, and they're really being quite innovative in what they can do. Tens is a bit about being different. It's a new game, it's not 15s, it's not 7s, it's something in between, and uh, I think if you look at the designs of all the very, very interesting rugby jerseys the Cape Town Tens, it, it was amazing and overwhelming response. You know, ourselves, in the spirit of being South African, being African, we had an Nguni skin, we had a huge response to this jersey and, and we decided to make 100 of those available, limited editions with a number on it. You know, you can contact us and uh, we'll get the jersey out to you. You know, next year we'll design something similar but also a little bit more funky for Cape Town Tents. Uh, it was a wonderful experience and uh, certainly our jersey had a huge response. I've always had a real soft spot for South African rugby and the reason being, and I'm not just saying this, they're not just good rugby players, everyone, you know, play top level rugby, everyone's a good rugby player, they're great men as well and there was something about the values of rugby in South Africa which I think most of the guys still hold true and you hear Ian McIntosh talking about it, you see guys, and that runs through the Bocca shirt, you know, for years and years and years and, you know, England and South Africa was always a special game, usually two big lumps of, two big packs of forwards, very, very physical games. But for me, what appealed to me most is you, you test each other's manhood. You know, you, you found out what what someone had, in, but not just between their between their ears, but also in terms of their heart as well. And I think you learn a lot about people on the rugby field, and no more so when, when you play South Africa. So for me, South Africa was always playing them was a real privilege because you could you knock literally ten bells out of each other on the field. The sort of guys that look you in the eye afterwards, and you've earned each other's respect, and that is why. It's a real privilege to come and play with these guys now. Many of the international legends couldn't praise the local rugby fraternity enough, not only for the tens, but the spirit of South African rugby.
to all the people in Cape Town. You should be extremely proud. This is a beautiful country, a beautiful city from Stellenbosch to Cape Point, from Camps Bay to, uh, you know, to Cape Town itself. It is just a fabulous place, a fabulous environment of outdoor, outdoor fun, good spirit, sport, and just the wonderful rugby tournament that Bobby and Robbie have put on. So you should be proud of what you've done. You're up there with the best. Different in the sense that we now got an international side where before we had a SA South African legends playing against an international side. And uh, we, we, we've pulled our resources together. And um, I think it's, it's good, you know, it's good, it's good for the crowds, it's, 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 it's the participation. It's really good for the camaraderie of, you know, not polarizing the, the, the countries and giving a true international tennis team, which, which we had here today, which Bob Enham put together. South African rugby legend CEO reflects on his first Castle Cape Town tennis. Well, I have to start by congratulating the organizing committee. You know, Bob Skinstad, Kirsty, Big Ron Rutland, Robbie Fleck and the, and the city of Cape Town for hosting a wonderful event. It's my first time. It's my first time there this weekend and, and what a great event, what a great experience. Uh, playing together with, with guys from another country that you usually play against, it's great meeting those guys in a, in a very relaxed environment and, and getting to know them. Often you see a guy in the field, you play against a guy in the field and you think, you know, difficult guy, you know, he's not that nice, but you meet him in an environment like we did on the weekend, great guys, friends made for life. Yeah, they just, you know, rugby players all over the world are pretty much the same, you know guys, I mean Chavez, uh, Joss Lucy, I mean these guys are just, just wonderful and I think they feel the same way, they made some good friends this weekend, uh, they've grown their profile in South Africa, of course a rugby mad country, uh, we know all those guys from seeing them on the TV but for people of Cape Town and, and South Africa to see those guys in real life, uh, they made friends here for life. And to round it off on a warm Saturday night, the biggest beer tent in the southern hemisphere packed to the brim. It was fitting that former Springbok captain Bobby Skinstad helped hoist the veterans winner's guitar high in the air as champions of the tens for yet another year.